We're just going to very quickly have a look at a protractor. Um, you can see one here in front of you, and I'm going to highlight um, some key areas for you. Uh, we're interested in these crosshairs in the centre here. That's where our angle uh, radiates from. And we're interested in these two scales going around the outside. Now you can see, starting from the left-hand side here, from zero, we have a scale going all the way around through 90 to 180 degrees. And we have another scale on the inside that runs from zero here round through 90 degrees to 180, that side. The scale we're going to be using is this inner scale that starts with zero on this side. Right. Um, to learn how to use it, we need to first start with a line. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line to begin with. There we go. Uh, and in the middle of the line, I'm going to put a mark. That's where we're going to draw our angle from. OK, so you can see here the crosshairs on the protractor. It's the crosshairs we're going to line up on this mark here. So if I pull that down to there, I can see I've lined the crosshairs up. But I'm not using the protractor very accurately. And you can see over on the right hand side here, you can see this bit has not lined up with that zero degrees there. And this is the key to using a protractor accurately. If I just push that protractor up, at the same time being cautious to keep the cross on that mark, if I move this end, I just adjust it. You can see that lines up now. I also want to do the same with the other side over here at 180 degrees. You can see that's just a very little bit high, so being careful to keep the cross in the middle. I'm just going to pull that down just very slightly. Oh, too far. There we go. So let's have a check. I've got crosshairs in place, I've got the zero degrees in place, and I've got the 180 degrees in place. That's it. Now, I'm now I've now got the protractor accurately on that line, and I can now measure off an angle. Let's start with 90 degrees. So if I start from zero here and go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, I can see this 90 degree line here. If I follow this 90 degree line up, I can make a mark there to create a 90 degree angle. If I pull the protractor out of the way, and then take my rule, top tip, um, when we do this, when we draw a line, is place the pencil on the mark and then slide the ruler up to the pencil. Once it's touching the pencil, and then swing the bottom of the ruler round until it matches the cross on that horizontal line. There we go, like that. Then we can draw our line down through the centre. There we go. There is our 90 degree angle. Just mark it as 90 degrees there. Now, if I take the protractor, I can go back and measure how accurate it is, starting by putting the crosshairs on the middle point. I can go over to this side and I can see a little bit low. Let's push that up a little bit and then go across to the other side. Well, that's a little bit high. Let's just pull that down just a little bit. That's pretty good, that isn't it? And I can see, if you look very carefully at this line that runs up through the 90, I can see I'm just a little bit off to the right hand side there, aren't I? That's probably a quarter of a degree off there. Okay. Let's do another angle. This time let's do 60 degrees. So if I start here at zero and go round 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I follow that 60 degree line out, I can place a mark there. Okay, remove my protractor again, bring the rule in, and again place my pencil on there, slide the rule up to the pencil, and then angle the rule round to the center of the angle there. There we go, and draw our line. Let's have a look 
see how accurate this one is. I place the crosshairs on the middle. Um, I go across here and yeah, that's not bad there. Crosshairs this side or oh, that side's a little bit high again. Let's pull that down. There we go. Like that. Right, let's have a look at our 60 degree angle. Let's go round 60 degrees. Now we can see that line goes up through this line here, through the 60, and you can see it's it's ooh, that's pretty good there. I can just see a little bit of it um, out to the side there. So it's just over 60 degrees, uh, not even a quarter of a degree. So that's quite accurate, that one. So there we go. Um, we've looked at the protractor. And to use it more accurately, uh, we need to use these three points, starting in the centre. Make sure the cross is on the centre there. And then check that these two points are also in line. Okay, that's it.